Hi guys, in this video I will be discussing with you all one of the very important question that I have faced or very important situation that I have seen with many gate aspirants that is how your rank or your performance in gate exam is related to your knowledge level. So in this video I will be discussing with you all the relation between these two things how your knowledge helps you in your gate exam how it decides your gate rank see when we start our preparation our aim is very clear many of us want to get into PSU many of you would want to get into MTech or any other field like if we are going for ES we want to enter into railways defense such sort of sectors so our aim is quite crystal clear but when we start our preparation when we go about our preparation this aim this objective starts becoming blurred if this objective starts becoming blurred then we lose focus on what is important for our preparation we start losing focus for that so basically when we start with the first subject when we are preparing we are highly motivated we are doing a lot of things we are solving a lot of books but as the subjects go on as we reach to the second third fourth subject that motivation decreases a bit that level of uh, basically that level of hard work also reduces if such thing happens then basically our preparation starts to suffer many people what happen is that with many people what happens is that they are constantly running behind knowledge they are misguided they are constantly running behind knowledge they are working on in-depth coverage of each subject but just think once even in gate ese or any other exam at least you have to prepare 12 to 15 subjects you have to prepare 12 to 15 subjects within a span of how many months mostly six months to one year this much time we have okay this is the general duration for any gate or any other competitive exam preparation after your graduation in this time frame you have to prepare 12 to 15 subjects now think when we were in our college there in each semester four to five months we only had to deal with five subjects when we were dealing with five subjects and still feeling how difficult it is so think about it how difficult it is to prepare 12 subjects within a single year it is not an easy task it is a very difficult task so if we are constantly running behind perfecting each and every subject then it is guaranteed that you can't be perfect in each and every subject so that itself is a incorrect strategy see what happens if you see any faculty also many faculties are dealing with two subjects three subjects four subjects that means they are very good at those subjects they know inside out about that subject they know everything about that subject but how many subjects are there there are only two subjects with that faculty but you are the one who has to prepare 12 subjects and that too within a very short time frame i myself am teaching many subjects but remember whenever i am preparing a new subject to teach when i am learning about that subject it takes me a duration of around three months are you able to dedicate that much time no you can't be able to dedicate that much time because you only have a limited time frame so remember whenever any faculty is preparing a subject they are devoting three to four months of their time to perfect that but you don't have that much time in your hands so don't idolize that every faculty will be perfect in their own subject will be perfect in their own way but you don't have to become that faculty you don't have to reach their level what you have to reach is this this is your destination your destination is gate rank or ese rank this is your destination 
when we start to idealize the faculties that are teaching to us we want to reach their level we constantly question ourselves why am i not able to think like that but what we ignore is the years of experience behind that subject many faculties have been teaching for 10 years 20 years 30 years and in that time frame they have made it such a strong subject how can you think of achieving that much in just 6 months okay if i try doing that then i'll be indulged in a single subject for a longer period of time and in that process i'll ignore all the other subjects which will have a weightage in the examination if i leave all other subjects which have weightage in the gate examination and i become perfect in one subject then you will never get a good gate rank see i never say that your rank will indicate your knowledge that is not the case it is not necessary that a top ranker will have a higher knowledge level than a lower rank it is not at all necessary but the thing is that in our country we will always be judged there will always be eligibility criteria based on rank or your performance there will never be eligibility criteria based on your knowledge so even if you want a platform to showcase your knowledge if you want an opportunity to show how much you know you first need to get a rank once you have a rank then all the options are open to you then you can go in any direction you want you can go for research in phd you can go for mtech for higher studies you can go abroad but for that first you need a certificate that you know the basic things you have the basic knowledge and that certificate is your rank so this thing will always come later if you want to run behind knowledge if you want to be so perfect in a subject if i want to be a professor of a single subject then that aim is entirely different what i saw this year many students were talking discussing among themselves like my this subject is very strong now i can teach this subject i have become perfect in this subject but whether it is required was that at all required was that why you started your journey was that the reason was that the reason your parents invested money on you no they invested money of on you so that you can settle your career you can establish your career you can get a job you can get a job in a psu you can get a job in any other public sector or you can go for higher studies that was the basic reason why you shifted to any other state that was the basic reason why your parents invested so much money sometimes what happens even our parents do not have that much money they arrange it from some places and just to see you being successful then why upon starting your journey you shift your aim from rank to knowledge why do you do that you basically started your journey in order to get a rank in order to be successful in order to have a job in your hand then why did you change that why did you go after knowledge and leaving all the expectation all the aim behind you leave that behind okay i am not saying knowledge is not necessary but knowledge which is required to crack the exam is necessary knowledge can have many definition knowledge has no foundation okay even if i explore a single subject i can read a thousand page textbook but will that be required to crack the exam no only certain concepts are required a basic knowledge is required it is not needed that you know inside out of a single subject you know each and every page of that single subject let me explain you in other way even if you learn a subject even if you have a notes which are two notebooks 400 pages 500 pages notes pick them up after 2 months and tell me whether you know what is written on each page you won't know our memory is not that long term we can't store that much information and if those concepts are removed from your mind why did you put so much effort in the first place was that required no what we need for any rank for any exam is problem solving skill this is skill if you increase your iq if you increase your problem solving skill 
दिस विल स्टे विद यू फॉर योर एंटायर लाइफ If your attitude is like this, I see a problem, I face a problem, I'll think upon it and I'll find the solution. If this attitude is with you, it will help you in the long run. But if your attitude is just cramming things up, knowing more and more, knowing more direct methods, having more knowledge, then that will not stay with you. Gradually, when you will be preparing 10 subjects, 12 subjects, you will start feeling afraid. You will start losing confidence because you were remembering a lot of things and that seemed easy when you were going about a single subject and that gradually be became difficult as the number of subjects kept on piling up. So we only have to focus on the important concepts or the important things that will be asked in the examination hall and we don't have to focus on every other thing that we face. So remember your aim should be very clear. If your aim is not clear then it will be very difficult to get a good rank in any of the exam. Okay. Secondly what I saw in this year is many students were discussing among themselves like which institute is better, which teacher is teaching better. So these sort of discussions are never fruitful for any student community. Do you think by proving that your teacher is better than the other teachers you will get a rank? Do you think you will get a job if your teacher is better? And even if your teacher is better, what is the need to announce it to the entire world that you are being taught by a good faculty? Will that satisfy your objective? Will that get you a good gate rank? Will that let you a good government job? No. That will never come in handy for you. That was not the aim with which you started your journey. That was not the reason why your parents spent money on you. So what kind of discussions are you guys indulging in? Is that anyhow fruitful for you guys? Is that anyhow taking you closer to your aim? Let me tell you one more thing. One book I read earlier, there was a very good concept that I read in that. In that, uh, the author had told, if you have a certain aim and you have a certain task, if you have a certain aim, like I have to get a good gate rank and I have a to-do list, I have to do this, I have to wash my clothes, I have to get up early, I have to have breakfast, I have to study, I have to do this. First of all, in this task list, figure out which things are absolutely necessary to make you get closer to your aim. If you are reaching towards your target, if you are moving towards your target, then those things are important. And the things other than that are not relevant for your success. Like many people like to watch first day first show, but will that get, get you a good gate rank? I don't think so. If that is not taking you closer to your aim, what is the need to dedicate time to that? Are these discussions on social media getting you a good gate rank? No, they are not helping you, but they are diverting your mind and attention and your precious time is being wasted arguing with other gate aspirants, arguing with other students. And I will tell you one thing for sure, what I have observed in the past few years, the student which you never see on social media, he is there but he is not arguing with someone, he is there but he is not being socially active, will get a good rank. The people who know what is their aim, who know how to reach their aim, will never waste their time in such useless things, will always focus on one thing. So when you are being uh, a part of these discussions, okay, so when you are being a part of these discussions, you are spending a lot of valuable time. We only have a short span of time and what we are doing with it? We are discussing with one another. We are engaging in totally useless discussions like which teacher is teaching better, which institute is better, which test series is more beneficial. We are discussing all these things that nowhere relate to our rank. Okay. And we are constantly fighting for our teachers. Okay. Like this happens with religion also. We are constantly defending our God. We are constantly defending our deity. But is there a need to do that? Is there a need? If you guys become successful, anyhow your teacher will be proud of you. Anyhow your teacher will also be successful. But with you arguing about your teacher, will he gain something? No. 
your rank your performance is what every teacher is working for so if you want to give them back something give your performance not defend them on social media not defame someone on social media but rather give them your performance give them the reward for their hard work give them the reward for their knowledge and that could only be your performance so always focus on in what form do you want to give back to your teacher in what form you want to give back to the society if you focus on these things then it will be good so arguing having such useless discussions and running after completely after knowledge always takes you away from your rank so remember we never have to be perfect in a single subject we never have to be perfect in a single subject we only have to have problem solving ability in all the subjects like i myself am teaching many subjects but how i am well versed with those subjects because i am teaching each subject for two times three times every year and i have an experience i have an experience from past many years and that is why i am good at that like i have been teaching electrical machines for the past 5 6 years and still i feel there is a lot of scope where i can learn there are a lot of things which i can still learn and if i am still learning after 5 years do you think you can master that in one month in 20 days no and that is not actually required also you don't need to be master of any subject what you need you need to be at the gate level at the exam level that you are able to solve the problems being asked in the exam if you are able to do that you don't have to be a master in any of the subject just be a good student just be someone who can solve the problems that appear in the exam and if you are able to do that then you will get a rank and once you get a rank then many options are open for you if you want to do research go into phd if you want a high paying job go into psu but the first step will always remain same that is rank okay for rank basic knowledge is required not the in depth knowledge or not the entire details of a subject is required because even if you get those details they will not stay with you you will lose them after a certain time frame so what is the need to run after those things it is better that you run after a rank that you gain a good gate rank and then think about exploring the entry cases the details of a subject okay because if you want to learn a subject very well then it is better that you opt for mtech or phd you will get to learn many things but if you want a rank then be good in all the subjects don't treat any subject specially is it fine now i hope the people who are preparing for gate 2020 or 21 will keep their aim in their mind and whenever you divert whenever you feel distracted just remind yourself why you started your journey why have your parents uh, invested in you okay always keep reminding this to yourself because along the path there will be many distraction along the path there will be many diversion but what i have to focus i have to focus on my aim and i have to walk in that path towards my aim and i don't have to worry about any other thing just focus on your aim and keep walking keep moving and don't worry about the distractions that come in your path there will be multiple distraction one year is a very long period for distractions you will get multiple things but always keep in your head what was the aim when you started don't keep changing your aim don't get manipulated and only work towards what you want to achieve and that is a rank okay i hope now many of you will understand why you started your journey and how you have to reach your target and not get diverted so let's increase the competition this year let's always achieve what is our potential let's get the best that we can get and not underachieve and not get diverted with the distractions okay i hope you understood my point well and i hope you will be able to apply it also thank you